Hey guys, it's Marissa. Um, I wanted to finally do a little dye tutorial for you guys as it's dye week this week. Um, so I figured we'd start the week off and just kind of show you easy basics on how to dye in your kitchen, which is literally what I'm doing right now. So before we start, um, I am using some Violet Rit dye, which is my favorite, uh, to dye my before dress, which looks like this. We're going to give it a little bit of color just because right now it's a little too sheer. I swear you probably tried on and, I mean, a little too see-through right now. So I figured the violet will be really, really pretty and I think the, the uh, lace is going to dye a little differently than the rest of it. So I'm really excited. So this is what we're going to do today. Um, so basically, first things first, I filled a pot of water like this um, up to a little bit on the edge. You can kind of... Uh, kind of see. Um, so I filled the water up and what I'm going to do is start boiling this first. You're not going to do the dye until the water is all boiled. So get your get your pot ready and good to go. For me, a little trick, um, I throw some salt into the bubbling water or the water to help it boil and it also it makes the color a little bit bolder too. So we're going to just throw a little bit of salt in and I don't really go by any specifics on what amount you should use. I kind of just do it to my taste. So I will probably do more salt than needed, but just to really give that color a really bold, really pretty, really pretty hue. So right now we're going to let this boil. And once it hits the boiling point, we're going to put the dye in next. And then we're going to put the dress in. So we'll wait for a little bit for it to boil, then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that it's boiling, we are going to get ready to throw our clothes into dye. Now, also, I didn't bring this up before, but you want to definitely be wearing just, like, things that don't, if you, if you get anything on them, things that you don't care about. Because I feel like I tend to be a little bit messy at times, so I figure just, like, an old tank is perfect. So, I'm doing a stretch pants tank deal, but just make sure you're wearing something that you don't really care about, just in case. So, anyway, we're going to take this off of the heat. Um, I'm going to put my dye in now, and usually what it says, if you go by the, uh, the bottle directions, um, half a bottle goes to three gallons of water and two pounds of fabric. I'm just going to put more in just for color. I want the color to be really bold. So I'll probably do about two-thirds, or one, I'd say close to a half. Close to a half right now I just put in. Um, so we're going to let that go, let it kind of sit for a minute. And I'm going to put my dress in now. Um, Sometimes, if you want to have it wet first to put in, just so it all absorbs evenly, you can do that. I'm actually okay with just putting it in like this. Uh, because this is liquid, it's going to really immerse really nicely with the water. If you have powder, just make sure that you're spinning it and really getting it, you know, getting it all mixed together. So, let's put the dress in now. Kind of let it get absorbed in the really pretty dye. I just like splash my face. Um, let it sit. Now for me, because I really want to get a really gorgeous color and I'm going to use a skewer to kind of just keep it down and to really get the whole thing immersed in this dye, um, I'm going to leave it in for a while. I think it only calls for maybe 15-20 minutes depending on, you know, the fabric, but for this, because I really want it to absorb the, uh, the gorgeous color, I'm going to probably leave it in for a bit. So we'll try to keep it all underneath and definitely come back and check on it for a while or every once in a while. But, uh, but there you go. So you just kind of let it sit here, let it hang out, marinate for a little bit, um, and we'll, uh, we'll come back to see the final product in a little bit. So now we've let the dress soak for about an hour, and look how pretty that looks. And the uh, the little um, pearl buttons have also turned that gorgeous shade, which is uh, which is awesome. So uh, so we're gonna get ready to take it out now. What I usually do, and I actually don't have them with me right now, are my uh, I use plastic gloves. Always use plastic gloves because this will dye your hands, will dye everything. You don't want magenta fingers. <laughs> <laughs> to go to work in. So what you can do, just using some of those plastic bags that we get from markets all the time, um, it's a great tool. You just throw your hand in and it acts as a glove. And it actually is a little bit better even that you can kind of grab it and then pull it in. Um, I've got three bags totally stacked waiting just because sometimes there's holes at the bottom and we definitely don't want drippage. 
So what I'm going to do is go into the bath of water. I'm going to pull the dress through. And now that I have it here, I'm going to do a little transfer into the other bag, like so. And I got my hands on it. Got a little spillage down there, but we're good. And we're going to transfer it to a spot. You can use a kitchen if you want to use your sink, if you want to use um, you know, a shower or bathtub just to let some water go through it. Smart idea because we want to get as much of the dye out as we can. Okay, we're going to do that next. And we have finished throwing it in the dryer for a little bit. Look how pretty it turned out. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Okay, you'll get to see this on me in very, very, I guess a couple minutes. Try it on before, uh, before I hit work, okay?